What's going on, you relentless sexy beaches? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some thirst quenching goodness. As always, we got five on the motherfucking clock. Yep, yep, we got five on. We got five on that clock. You gotta tickle the balls. You gotta tickle the balls. What do you think, Tessie? Yeah, we got some good shit to drop, you little sexy beach. God, you're sexy. Look at you. Look at you. You look good. Girl, you look... You look good. You look sexy. I'll tell you what. You just look good. I just I just think you look great. I think you look great. Well, what's going on, Beaches? Welcome back to the, the Daily Swole Extra Thirsty. Make sure you subscribe. Daily Swole Podcast going live every day. Don't miss it. Me, the Swole Fam, so much more. Don't miss out. And check out SwoleNormousX.com if you want to join the swole fam if you're tired of you're looking at what i'm fucking saying and you're like these guys and these people are just fucking jabronis get rid of the jabrones in your life you know what i'm saying let's take a look at today's the jabroni of the day i've covered um i've covered eric the electric a few times now this is a previous extra thirst (laughs) zoomed in a this is a previous extra thirsty where he's like you know he'll say i gained 20 pounds in one day in one meal or i ate 20,000 calories of pure sugar remember that video I think that was an NOC where I watched him eat literally 20,000 calories of a massive sugar cube. This guy will do anything in order to get views. And he justifies binge eating by excessively exercising. He does ridiculous, like ridiculous. He does ridiculous distances for cycling, like long, hundreds of fucking miles in a week. Literally, so many fucking so many fucking miles on a bike. Now, I never say that's not impressive. That's fine. You could do what you want. It's your choice of your life and your activity. That's fine. I'm just, I'm commenting it. I can comment. I can judge. Why the fuck can't I? Don't judge. It's not nice. Fuck that shit. I'll judge all the fuck I want. You don't have to listen to it and you don't have to take it personally either. So I don't dislike him as a person. I just dislike his content. I think it's gross. I think he eats a lot of shit and tries to justify it as if he's burning it off. You're fucking up your body. You're giving your body garbage, chemical nonsense. Eat some real fucking food. Maybe you're not, maybe you shouldn't be eating 20,000 calories. Ever thought of it? You're, you weren't born on a bicycle. It's not like that's the most natural thing for a human to fucking do to just shove a fucking seat right up your prostate. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at this post. This is on Strava. If you don't know what Strava is, Strava is one of those uh, group, I would say group, but it's one of those community cardio-based apps where you're running or cycling, it'll track your run. It'll be like, hey, you run this far. It's like, hey, you know, join, you have a team and you probably, you know, you hold yourself accountable, it tracks things and you can kind of exercise together and everyone can hold each other loosely accountable and stuff. I don't use the app per se. Well, you don't do it, Tessie, you're fat as shit. You don't do it, Beesh. You don't do it. Anyway, so this is what he posted on uh, on Strava. Eric the Electric Lampkin prepping for the 10,000 calorie burn challenge tomorrow. 63.28 miles, 4,203 feet of elevation, 35 achievements. I don't know what that is. Fine. Good for you. Congratulations on your achievements. 63 fucking miles on the bike. That's a That's a long distance. That's a long distance. This guy does a lot more than that. This is just one, one fucking thing. Prepping for the 10,000 calorie burn challenge tomorrow. This does not justify eating shit food. Now you might think it does. He might think it does. You might be watching me. You might come across my content. No fucking joke. I am completely aware that you might come across my content and think, Papa Swolio, you are a real fucking food Nazi. You are super strict. Papa Solio, don't you ever cheat? Don't you ever, don't you ever eat junk food? Don't you ever do this? My idea, my idea of my nutrition is about fueling quality foods, the right fuel for my body. It's not just the quantity, it's the quality. So what fuel works best for my body? My idea of a cheat or what I eat for my own pleasure, which is foods that my body reacts best to, I eat the foods that my body responds best to. My cheat, which I don't have. I don't have cheat meals. I don't even use that terminology in my own in my own life because I think that's just an excuse. 
having a cheat day is an excuse for you to eat crap and justify it and guarantee that you're eating crap in your diet. I eat these things on my diet. My diet is the sum of all my nutrition. My diet is the sum. The sum. We need some OT for this. I'm not done with this topic. We need some OT. OT. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some OT. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm lit. I'm in. You ready? You ready for some papa? You ready? It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. All right. I'm ready for the heat. You ready for the heat? You ready? You're picking up what I'm putting down? Fine. You listen here. You listen here real good. You listen. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. All right. Come back. There we go. See how that works? Fucking fancy. I'm fancy with that shit. This OT is getting fucking intense. It's getting real intense. Fam, if you are justifying your shit fucking foods, if you're if you're justifying it by giving yourself cheat days, that's all you're doing. You're letting that shit in the fucking door. You do realize that, right? You do realize you're letting that shit in the fucking door. That's what you are doing. You are allowing that shit to come in. You're opening the door and you're being like, you know what? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in whenever you want. You are welcome here. It gives you the excuse to cheat, to have a cheat meal whenever you fucking want. You're just not disciplined enough. Now, you might justify this. Well, I strictly only have one a week and only. Fine. You're consistently inconsistent. True. You're consistently. Maybe you get away with it. Maybe genetically you can just maintain your leaner. You can try to justify it all you want. If you're eating and torturing your fucking body from the inside out, it's on you. You don't have to think about your food the way I do. I just don't have cheat meals. If I choose to eat ice cream or a cookie, then it's my choice. But how is that helping my body? How is that something that I should be eating? How is that fuel for me? How is that fucking fuel for me? Legit. I look at that and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not a psychopath when it comes to eating. I don't have an eating disorder. I just look at that and like, that's not food. That's not something that I really want in my body. It's not helping me at all. How is that fueling me? And usually it just tastes too sweet or too artificial because I'm not used to eating that crap anymore. I've literally purged all that shit from my, and I feel amazing. If I want something sweet, I have frozen berries or frozen fruit. If I want something fucking sustaining, I have a big old ribeye steak. I have some sweet potatoes, some white rice or some asparagus, some broth. I'm full. I just ate. Huh? I ate. I don't need to keep on fucking my face all the time. I don't need every single celebration or every single interaction to revolve around putting stuff in my fucking mouth. That's weird. And when you're excusing it by, hey, I'll just exercise a lot so I could eat 10,000 fucking calories or 20,000 fucking calories. <sighs> Jabronis. Jabrones. That's how I see it. Jabrones. Hey, you don't have to agree. It's fine. It's fine. The few are disciplined. The few. The few. I mean, you have to question things that everyone agree. Everyone wants to just pretend like it's a math equation. Okay. Well, the proof is in the pudding. We are more unhealthy than ever as a country. And all we've been obsessed with, with for decades is calories. How many calories? How many macros? That's all people fucking talk about doesn't seem to be working too much. Hmm? Doesn't seem to be working. We're fucking medically bankrupt. Everyone's fucking sick, fat, and dying. Let's think about our shit a little bit differently. Hmm? It's not working. It's not working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's fucking destroyed, build it from scratch the right fucking way. Pillar number two, nutrition. Quality comes first. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts about binge eating and binge exercising? Drop in the comments down below. Subscribe for the Daily Soul podcast. More extra thirsty every day. I'll see you next time. Peace. Biatch. Relevant, I'll topic my melanin is popping. I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element, no Ollie's, you children pop.